Well, Paul, I mean, an extraordinary day, really. Everything that could go wrong kind of did for Sheffield United. Yeah, not one, yeah. But listen, we can have no complaints in terms of performance. Coventry were better than us. They defended better than us. They attacked better than us. And, and uh, yeah, that's why they got the win. Can you put your finger on why that materialised today? No, if you're off it slightly in the Championship, you know you can come unstuck. And Coventry were excellent today. But we're prepared for an excellent Coventry because I think the Poles teams a lot of problems even when they don't get the results with how they play. Put the, put the ball forward early, make you defend it. And then they've got bright plays in around your box. Um, but having said that, the nature of the goals we conceded were terrible. Um, so regardless of how well someone's played, the nature of the goals we conceded were really bad. And considering Sheffield United have looked as a unit so solid defensively, is it fair to say that an element of, well, certainly worry, if not panic, set in? In the game? Uh, listen, it was first half, nothing in it. I thought it was end-to-end, -end, and I don't mind games when, we're, when it is open, because I back our players. Um, but after the second goal went in, another sloppy goal from our part, it just appeared that they did have more threat in and around the box when they went forward. Um, and we couldn't muster enough threat at the other end. So from that point on, it became really difficult. And from an attacking perspective, things just didn't happen, did they, today? Flicks that didn't come off, yeah, not, they... much, not much pressure was sustained. No, we, we weren't good enough. We, the boys know that, we know that. Um, they defended better than we did, they attacked better than we did. Um, and that's why they won the game. Mad, isn't it? I mean, outstanding the other day to come to this, it's almost unpredictable. You couldn't have thought today was going to materialise as it did. You, you know, you can sometimes because of, you know, after the Lord May show and things like that, I did speak about it. Um, but I thought we started with energy, we matched their energy, and that's why it was a, an end-to-end -end game. Um, as I say, too many, too many things didn't come off for us with the ball, you know, loss of the possession, like you said, any quick play or tricks, flicks didn't come off. Uh, and then the other end we conceded sloppy goals from, from our point of view. So, yeah, as, as well as, like I say, Coventry, we're pleased with how they played. Um, we're really disappointed with, with what we did and, and I think it's, it's evident what we did wrong. Yeah. Sometimes in these circumstances we'll be asking questions like, do you need to sort of lift heads now, I suppose, or is there just going to be a rational response to what is, has just been a bad day at the office? Yeah, the rational response. We speak honest and see, because you have to... It's got to be a wake-up call. We have to see and learn from it. We, uh, like I said, the goals we concede, I've not seen in my time. Or me working with the players last year, all this, um, us defend like that. Um, so, yeah, you, we'll have to use it. You've got to use every game. But likewise, then put it to bed and the folks will be on Blackpool. We've, the good thing is, in this league, you have a game every, every few days and we've got a, an important one now away at, at Blackpool on Wednesday night. Ben Davis didn't play today, why is that? Yeah, picked up an injury, obviously Flecky picked up an injury. It's, that, uh, that's becoming a problem, you know, and that, that's probably what I'm losing sleep over more than anything else. Um, yeah, they're the issues, we need players back, we want the players back. Listen, you, you look at our bench today, it's full of youngsters, but then you see when you go on, it's a big step up. Um, and we want, we want us players back, definitely. Do you look at that sort of in detail between those that are impact injuries and not impact injuries and whether anything the players could be doing differently maybe to not get the volume of injuries that you've got? Yeah, the, the, well, the big one for me, we've got uh, our training pitch has been terrible this year. We, we came back after Fulham and uh, it, we had two days of rain and we've not been on it some days. It's just been a bog. So we have to address that in the summer. We, when you're getting soft tissue injuries like this, which is generally, from, so you go from that type of bog and we have to train to then onto these firm, beautiful pitches that we do. The changing surface does no good. Um, so it's something as a club we, we need to uh, certainly get that right um, because it is a, a major issue. And you, and you can see it, it's, it's evident. You, you can't expect anything other, you know, we spoke about it at the time. You can't expect anything other other than now trying to manage the players through this important part of the season. And is the Davis injury you know, serious or whatever, might be back on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, him and Fleck, just muscle injuries, the scan, so we know there's damage there. And that's the thing, it's all pointed, soft tissue injuries are all pointed to the same, 
sort of reason. Um, so we know what we, we know what the problem is. We want to put that right, but we can't at this moment in time. That has to be the summer. Um, but we're having to catch them and manage them really quickly, like we are doing, just to not put people out for the season and things. So we couldn't play today because we know, knew it would have got worse. Um, and I'd say that hopefully Wednesday, certainly Saturday, we'll have them back.